Hello again my friends, Wrath of the Machine is the brand new raid coming with Rise of Iron. Its main theme is Collision, or as Bungie describes it, smashing shit into other shit. It's a raid designed to be purely about fun. You'll pass through the claustrophobic corridors within the Cosmodrome wall, emerging on top of the wall to face off against a giant mechanical death machine whose sole purpose in life is to crush your bones into dust. Best get your running boots on and equip the new memory of Yoda artifact. It's an artifact that removes sprint cooldown, saving you precious seconds and hopefully keeping you from getting shredded into bloody ribbons. Honestly, this looks like a hell of a lot of fun. So then, how does Wrath of the Machine compare in difficulty to Destiny's other raids? Well, unsurprisingly, it's going to be hard. But according to Bungie, your light level will play a more significant role in this raid than, say, King's Fall. Here's how Bungie explains it. King's Fall was all about mastering the raid's mechanics. So no matter what light level you are for this raid, conquering the mechanics is the key to success. For Wrath of the Machine, a higher light level will prove a significant help in beating the raid and feeling as if you have some mastery over it. So the grind to edge ever closer to the new Max 400 light level is going to be even more important to hardcore raiders in Wrath of the Machine. Next up, we're going to have a look at the new raid gear. Now, Bungie doesn't usually release the full raid gear sets before the raid actually drops, but they have done this time, so I guess we'll go with it. Now, to be honest, when I first saw this raid gear, I was like, I... I don't really know about this. My first thought was bring out the gimp. It looks like it was designed for people with a leather fetish. But the more I've seen it, the more I've got used to it. And I kind of like it now. Check out the hunter's cloak on the left there. That's a pretty fucking badass cloak. Definitely going to be worth collecting, adding to your hunter's cloak collection. Check out the warlock and the titan. They have kind of like a samurai vibe about them. And this new raid set can also be used in conjunction with the new ornaments. Ornaments change the way your armor looks and add cool new effects. Now, three of the new armor sets can be used in conjunction with ornaments. That's this new raid set, the new Trolls of Osiris set, and the new Iron Lord set. Let's uh, let's have a look at them in action, shall we? Now, this is the Spliced Cosmoclast Titan raid set. And this is what happens when you add a raid ornament. You get this cool Seaver glow. And this ornament effect transforms every piece of your raid armor set. If you see someone walking around Fairwinter's Peak with glowing red beams bursting from their raid armor, you know that this guardian has mastered the new raid. Man, there's gonna be so much grinding ahead. September 20th, can you just hurry the fuck up and get here, please? So then, guys, what do you think of the new raid armor sets? Do you like the ornaments that accompany it? Do you like the red Seaver glow emanating from the cracks within the armor? Leave a comment below and let me know. Next up, we have the new Raid Pulse Rifle. Firstly, just look at it. It looks fucking amazing. It's like a mini sleeper simulant. But best of all, is what this thing does when you shoot shit with it. Not only does it have the glorious Outlaw perk, which grants faster reload with every precision shot, but it also has what appears to be Seaver-infused Wolfpack rounds that heat seek nearby enemies. I mean, do you want to get any more OP? Now, I know what weapon I want when Rise of Iron drops, and here's a hint. It's this fucking weapon. So then, guys, I hope you enjoyed that cheeky little look at some of the new raid gear that's coming with Rise of Iron. Now, remember, the new raid drops September 23rd, three days after Rise of Iron launches on September 20th. So then, you're going to want to grind like hell for that three-day period before the raid comes out to hit the light level needed to stand a chance of completing the normal mode raid. It's going to be grindy as fuck, but... That's Destiny for you. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thank you so much for watching, you beautiful bastards. And as always, a tee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.